Hormonal factors such as Cushing's disease or insulin resistance and equine metabolic syndrome are common in those suffering from laminitis. But what other factors are involved? Obesity is a significant problem. It is the main risk factor for EMS and can also be a concern for those with Cushing's, increasing the likelihood of laminitis developing. Forage type and quality can be an issue, with hay and grazing high in non-structural carbohydrates, mainly sugars, proving a significant problem. Grazing is a higher risk, but not limited to, the spring or autumn. Grazing when temperatures are below 5 degrees C is a risk factor, with the worst scenario being when it is a freezing cold but sunny day. High intakes of sugar and starch increase blood glucose, causing a rise in the hormone insulin, which can directly precipitate laminitis. It is also possible that high intakes of sugar and starch result in a severe disturbance of the microbial population in the hind gut, with laminitis trigger factors leaking into the bloodstream, ultimately leading to laminitis. The use of cereal grains, mixes and high limolast feeds can all cause this. Further factors not relating to nutrition include stress, certain drugs, physical trauma or concussion, severe lameness in one leg, for example a fracture, which leads to excessive weight bearing on the opposite limb, and serious illness such as a retained placenta or certain colic which can result in the release of toxins into the bloodstream.